Let's draw the Lewis structure for carbon disulfide. That's CS2, the only video game I ever got addicted to. Carbon brings four valence electrons each because it is in group 14. Sulfur brings six valence electrons each because it's in group 16. Let's write that down. This carbon brings four and each sulfur brings six. I have to double the six to make 12 and the extra four gives me 16 valence electrons to deal with here. I'm going to put my carbon in the center because carbon can make up to four bonds and sulfur can generally make up to two bonds when it's uh, in an organic compound at least. So I'm going to put my sulfurs on the outside. This might remind you of CO2 by the way and if it does, well then, spoiler alert, it's the exact same thing. I'm going to draw single bonds to connect. I always do that to hold it together in one molecule. But what I do next is I complete the octets on my outer atoms. I need 16 total and I've already put two, four electrons down. So, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 electrons. I am out. I got to stop here. The trick here is that carbon needs to have a full octet of all the atoms on the periodic table that they taught you the octet rule applies for. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine actually always follow that rule. So, this carbon needs eight electrons and currently it's only got four around it. Two here and two here. How are you gonna fix that? Well, I fix it by taking these two electrons which were originally only belonging to sulfur and I share them with carbon. I now have a double bond here this sulfur still has eight electrons around it, but now carbon has six. Two, four, and now the extra two makes six. I can do the same thing on this side, take those two away from sulfur and make it a double bond. Now carbon has eight electrons around it. Each sulfur still has their eight and everyone's happy. This looks exactly the same as CO2, carbon dioxide, except these are O's instead of S's. Shouldn't be a surprise, S and O are in the same column. Oh no, stay here. Not you though, you go try some on your own. Best of luck.